Hello everyone, welcome to our presentation. We are group I and we were assigned this presentation in order to explain some notions of intonation by Roach and Underhill. Read a different type of reading aloud and state which is the one that we are supposed to do in class and which in real life. Reading aloud is an interactive process between reader and text. Intonation allows us to interpret what a reader understood from the text. In class, we enter the text, perform it, highlight syllables, words or phrases. She is saying, this is what the text means to me. The reader is adding her own interpretation and orientation towards the hearer, making tone choices in the light of assumptions about the state of convergence of the common ground. This reading is interactive. There is a continuum of delivery from quotes in the text. This is what it says to enter in the text and performing it. Here is my version of it. This is why so many teachers have found reading aloud to be a powerful instrument for diagnosing the reader's understanding of the text. In real life, we leave words and chuck floating free and connect it into sense groups or tone units, making it quite difficult for the hearer to follow. She is saying this is where the disconnected words and phrases are. Also, we tend to quote the text. She is saying this is what the connected text says, though she brings little outside knowledge to bear. What is a mistake regarding intonation? A mistake regarding intonation is that discourse analysis deals with the non-phonic aspect of language, treating prosody in isolation from the linguistic material, the syntactic structure, and the discourse structure. Make a distinction between observations and generalizations about intonation. Which one is more appropriate? We may say that observation is how speakers interact and generalization is what you find in books. The first one is more appropriate because it's sophisticated and profound. It is easier or difficult to adopt discourse intonation textbooks materials. Discourse textbooks intonation materials in a list to adopt, but it may be helpful for learners to have an explanation of what the intonation form is and how the speakers use it in productive ways.